Ashley said do weird stuff with my hands. He, he's, it's so literal. So literal. <laughs> he said do weird stuff with my hands. It's doing weird stuff with my hands. Welcome to Epic Updates. Epic Updates, guys. Welcome back. Uh, today, we are talking about... Something that we really haven't spoken about before. So, yeah. like, this is a real new topic for us. We're, we're, we're jumping into something new here. Minus the sirens in the background. Excuse the traffic. Excuse it. <laughs> um, equity addition versus equity preservation. What does that mean? What do we mean? What does that mean? There are a lot of different ways to add value. build equity and add yep. value, of course. But there is also equity that you have that you may not be aware of that we have the ability to help you preserve when you yeah. go to market. So right. th this came about because Jonas had a discussion with a client um, and he'll, he'll get into the details. But one thing I overheard him say that I think is so poignant and important to note is when you're a buyer, you have to think like a seller. And when you're a seller, you have to think like a buyer. Right. You get into a real pickle when you're when you're so thinking listening. only that it's a one-sided transaction. Right. Uh, the buying and selling of real estate is not one-sided. So I'll let you kind of go into that. For but sure. um, yeah, equity. Equity. So longtime clients of mine uh, have assisted the family to buy you know multiple properties for their family. This situation, it's a sale. Uh, their grandmother's moving into assisted living facility, so they're um, looking to what to do with the home beautiful property immaculate condition uh, nice location in mesa the challenge isn't the condition the challenge is it's a time capsule so it's a little dated it's just in mint condition dated yeah clean so, but yeah. dated hey if we're filming a 80s sitcom this would be a <laughs> top, fantastic top location location for yeah. it. we're not we're selling a property so we're kind of going through options and I did it, you know, met with them and kind of going through, you know, my recommendations and, you know, do we do a you know, full gut remodel? Nope. Do, you know, do we do nothing? Nope. You know, kind of somewhere in the middle. So basically, you know, uh, mainly a handyman list. We're doing some paint. Um, we're changing a couple of vanities, stuff like that. There are multiple siblings involved in this transaction. So obviously everyone kind of is chiming in with opinions. And one of the opinions was, well, let's just do a, you know, fifteen twenty thousand $20,000 credit and let the buyers do what, what they want with it. The challenge with that is it does nothing to improve the situation of the property. It doesn't make the property show any better. It right. doesn't, you know, and buyers are picky, especially in this market. And so if there's something that requires work or hassle, even if you're compensating them, hey, you're gonna buy this house, you're gonna close, you're gonna move in, and you're gonna live in a construction zone for the next 60 and days. And you have to be a designer. And you gotta be a designer. And you have to deal with all the contractors and all go and pick up materials. All, all, and, all the things. And I think sometimes all that a mindset yeah. could work, but yeah. it's dependent upon the market. Correct. You have to be aware of the market yeah, yeah, that you're selling and buying sure. homes in in order to determine whether or not that's something that you wanna do. Bingo. Another reason why that's really difficult is because, as Jonas has said multiple times, the most important... ta -da! We have a jump start. We had a, little, we had a, we had a technical, pause. Technical, technical error. Right. Yeah. Um, what I was saying is that, it, you know, it, Jonas has said this to multiple people, and I believe that it's true as well. Your most important and pivotal time on market is your first two weeks. So if you're listing a property that does not show well or it's not in line with what a buyer's expectation is for that price point of property, they're not going to care what the credit is yeah. because it's still gonna show like an 80s time capsule. Absolutely, 100%. So in this case, this was a twofold. This was a uh, equity addition and this was an equity preservation. It was an equity addition in the sense that we are adding certain improvements that are is gonna make the property more marketable and will command a higher sales price. But on the flip side, equity preservation because buyers will factor in the cost of their time and the hassle and the additional investment and in most cases they don't know how much stuff costs or they're working with contractors that are ready to rip them off the cost thing is is a yeah. huge huge yeah. component because yeah. we have so many people that move here from out of state and the price of home improvements is exponentially more yeah. than what it is here in arizona so 100%. somebody might think uh what would really be a ten thousand dollar remodel might really they might think it's like 30 g's so Perception is a lot of it. Perception is a lot of it. So anyways, uh, do what you can to keep your equity. This is hard-earned equity. This is your money. 
you know, this is the bank of your house, so let's keep it in your pocket. Yes. But anyways, hopefully this was uh, helpful. But let's try to provide little little nuggets of value. Yeah. And uh, please reach out, subscribe. Yeah, let us, like, know, let us know what follow. we can do to help you. Um, if you're thinking about listing your home and want us to come over and kind of tell you maybe a few, you know, cost-effective things to do in order to, to get it listed and get it in tip-top shape, we're happy to do that. So, as always, thank you for watching Epic Updates. And if you need us, we're here. Appreciate you guys. Bye.